First consignment of 54,000 vials of COVID shield vaccines arrived in Imphal three days ahead of nationwide vaccination drive against coronavirus on January 16. The sound locks up offices of BOSEM, Secretary and Controller examinations against government's failure to fill up the vacant post. Court sends man who trashed his wife to death in drunken state for to 10 years of rigorous imprisonment with a fine of 20,000 rupees. Manipur reports 44 new confirmed cases of COVID-19, 56 recoveries and no death case in last 24 hours. Death toll remains 365. And India records 15,968 new COVID-19 cases, taking country's COVID tally above 1 crore for lakh 95,000. Recovery rate stands above 96%. Hello and welcome to Impact News. You're watching Primetime English Bulletin. I'm Joy Srivisham. To stay protected from coronavirus, wash your hands frequently, wear your mask properly and maintain a safe distance. Now the top stories and latest news at this hour. First, consignment of COVID shield vaccines arrived in Imphal today, three days ahead of the launch of the nationwide drive against the coronavirus scheduled on January 16. 54,000 vials of COVID-19 vaccine Covishield produced by Serum Institute of India based in Pune reached Imphal's Bir Tikendrajit International Airport around 12.30 p.m. Chief Minister Nong Thumbambirin along with officials of health services received the vaccines at the airport. Speaking on the occasion, the Chief Minister thanked the central leaders and assured of carrying out the vaccination drive as per the guidelines given by the union government. COVID-19 vaccination drive will be carried out at 10 centres in the state. Altogether, 8,476 healthcare workers from 10 different healthcare institutions will be vaccinated, including 1,831 healthcare workers of Jenims, 3,136 of RIMS, 1,120 of Shiza Hospitals and Research Institute, 318 of Churchanpur District Hospital, 417 of Ukru. 210 of Senapati, 473 of Chandil, 297 of Bishnupur, 394 of Thaubal and 436 of Tamenglong District Hospital on January 16 for the first phase. Centre has said that the choice of vaccine to be administered remains with the government even as COVID-19 vaccination remains voluntary. Health member of Niti Ayog, Dr. V.K. Paul, has assured that COVID-19 vaccines, Covishield and Covaxin approved by the Drugs Controller General of India for emergency use have been tested on thousands of people and both of the vaccines are safe. He said that the benefits and power of the vaccine will be known after 14 days of being vaccinated and a vaccine will be given in two doses with 28 days gap. He also said that people must follow COVID-19 safe behavior before and after getting the vaccine. COVID-19 vaccines for Assam and Meghalaya reached yesterday. I would like to congratulate and appreciate the Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji and the Union Health Minister Harbhajan ji for timely distributing the vaccination program in all over India and particularly the Manipur at a far corner of the nation but taking care of the geographical difficulties and isolation. Honorable Prime Minister has given priority to us and getting 54,000 doses today at the Imphal airport and it will be distributed to all district headquarters and including the Imphal city with one private hospital. Just priority as per the guideline. Health worker sing, front warrior sing, matang matang sequence wina. Akoi kakwani, akoi 
खाने चाहना पर नत्र का पॉलिटिशियन की नत्र का अच्छा वो सांगी हुई बादू में बहुत मत रही कोई इधर मधु ले रहा है सिस्टेमेटिकली ऑनरेबल प्राइम मिनिस्टर ना पीरी पर हाई री पर गाइडलाइन दुगी मत तुगी ना आन बताए कोई हेल्प वाकरसिंग दा हाना प्रायोरिटी पीर नी हाई री पर कोविड नाइनटीन सी देगी अकोई फुली मणिपुर में आम कन्नड़ बाप होना बाप ना मनी है ना कोई था जब ले मरक सीधा ऐन आपल तो उन्हें बसे मणिपुर की में आम ना उसी हाँ ना देगी तो मेंटेन तो बीडी पर एसओपी फजर ना आग ना तो बीयू मतलब खरा फुली वैक्सीन ने कॉपर टॉक दिया बाल दिया कोई एसओपी फजर ना आग का थंबी ना बाप मतलब तंगे मणिपुर में आम दा यापल तो उसे नहीं हाँ बता मसी है पूरा पूरा ये कोई वाक इन कुलर इन द फैमिली एफ़ आर डिपार्मेंट की स्टोरेज या बेक्सिन में याम से कोई स्टोरेज तो बम वाक इन कुलर इन अमले मसी दे यहाँ हाँ न था वनी मसी दे की नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट स्टेप तो कोई डिस्ट्रिक्ट डिस्ट्रिक्ट सी द स्टोरेज ले डिस्ट्रिक्ट बेक्सिन स्टोरेज है ना मसी दे आम भी है अधिक मशीन हो रही है अधिक नेक पेरिफेरी डी प्राइमरी हेल्थ सेंटर कम्युनिटी हेल्थ सेंटर सब डिस्ट्रिक्ट हो सां हेल्थ वेनेस सेंटर डी मतलब उतना ही हेंड होकर नहीं समय तो उन्हें कोई इस और कुरम देना कोई यंग फजना तांग तातु तो कि इफेक्टिव इन्हें इंप्लीमेंट तो हो रखा नहीं मशीन यंग सेब वे भी दाग नहीं मशीन यूके � Pisah lagi dia, ya kau ni yang he na yang pasal na control tau pusing anggun ni habis ni pandai mesti control tau bung anggun ni habis ni, ya kau ni mana pun komen kita tahu ni. A team of Desam members led by Desam Secretary General El Lamyanba today locked up the offices of Bosem Secretary and Controller of Examinations around 11 a.m. against government's failure to fill up the vacant post. Speaking to media, Lamyanba said deputation of former Bosem Secretary Mary Thomas Tithung and Controller of Examinations Kate Tikken ended on December 27th last year. He highlighted the inconveniences facing students in the absence of the two critical posts. Lamyanba said Desam had locked up the rooms against the government's lack of concerns despite their repeated pleas and warned of even intense agitations. It may be mentioned that during an exclusive interview with Impact News on January 8, Desam demanded to fill up the vacant post within five days and had warned of carrying out agitations if their demand is not met within the deadline. Mahiroi kaya mnaong kaki examination kandat tau nana bagi wak khanna gadaba matam Amma di tongan tongan ba nau na class rejim tau nana bagi yamna dhura ba tangtha masle da Revise syllabus na sing ba siyem du na Adu ki oiba chap cha ba procedure sing tau gadaba matam masle da Administrative officer ani Dollar amma di secretary hosi pa hangal laga thamba hai ba se Desam na yamna hapchi na lawi ta hauzi uze haa pa ngam drabani na ekoi desam na solo Sen bagi pangtha hang paikha lak ba ne Makha ta rak ba da mani pergi lenga ki mapung oi na education minister Mani lai na ba sing su matang matang hai ba se bosem se pura paradise oi laga na mahiroi Kaya menolong kau. Hanya dengan jenis binti masuk kepada buat tarik lagi. Matang matang atau sing sing. Kalau selang mana bagi pengetahuan sing payah lagi ni. Mahiroi kita tunggu lagi lep pada badu kumpa. Malu ibu ibu ni na. Masih dah itu dia. Kau politik sana bi kanu. Masih yang macam nama yang macam matik cawam ni. Maka ha mana bagi dapat lagi anu. Mana biar anu wakom jadi sokong. Tarik lagi tak berdegi. Nasi kita akan pengetahuan sing payah. Postgraduate and undergraduate students of DM University erupted into agitation today condemning the recent transfer order of two teachers of the university. Protesting students blocked roads inside the university campus by chanting various slogans. Speaking to media, Secretary of DM Social and Culture Papendra objected to transfer of political science teacher Noni and English teacher Shanti Kumar. He warned of locking up the principal's office, classrooms and the university gate until their transfer orders have been revoked. Ngan kita orang terlalu banyak, ngan kita orang orang ini jadi orang terlalu agak, orang terlalu agak, mesti jadi transfer tu tau gigi, nanti mainan mesti tau banyak. Aduh, terus yang kau sih yang ini deh, hari orang Asia kau gigi yang maru ibu orang ni, terus yang hari orang Cina kau mesti orang ni kau gigi kolesi kau bonsu ibu orang ni, macam kau ini orang Cina kau mesti orang lakri macam ni, anak mama mama sih gigi masih orang ibu orang kau gigi masih anak kau gigi bibi ibu orang ni, orang sih kau gigi kontrol exam sih sih gigi mana tu orang bagi faham cakap orang ibu orang ni, terus yang hari orang ada orang mangan lakri nanti lakri nanti mesti orang orang ada, am terdilak orang, mesti orang orang zoom orang, aduh kau ini hari ni gigi dia, am kau zaman hari hari gigi orang Asia orang ini sih Transport tobiganu, orang tu pun laksa jenu, aduh orang ni sejuta transport tobiganu, orang mai gigi mai gigi orang transport tobi, kerana sih aje, kau mungkin nak kaki tu bawa kau, aduh get orang sini orang sini segini, universiti orang sini segini, ada gigi orang sini segini, pesawat office orang sini segini. 
Court of District and Sessions Judge Ukrul today sentenced a convict who thrashed his wife to death in a drunken state to 10 years of rigorous imprisonment with a fine of 20,000 rupees. The incident occurred in June of 2015. Case has been going on for the past five years. The court convicted Temitan Pungcham Nao, aged about 42 years, son of late Lui Kai of Langdang village of Ukrul district on December 30 last year. After hearing to both Defense and Prosecution Councils, District and Sessions Judge of Okrul W. Tonen Maite sentenced Temmin Tan to 10 years of rigorous imprisonment with a fine of 20,000 rupees under Section 304 Part 2 of the Indian Penal Court. The court also ordered to provide victim compensation scheme under the National Legal Services Authority as well as State Legal Services Authority to the dependents of the deceased. Rajya Sabha MP and titular King Lashim Basana Dauba has assured that center and state governments will try to set up a special directorate for scheduled caste in Manipur. He was speaking at the one-day political conference organized by BJP AC Morcha at Thaubal Hauka Mamang Lampak today. Hairog Emily Thokchom Radesham has stressed on the roles of culture in a society. He was speaking at the inauguration of three-day cultural workers and activists forum CWAFS 2021 at Hongnem Sheng Auditorium Anti Theatre in Changangai Uchekon, organized by Cultural Workers and Activists Forum Manipur today. MLA Radesham emphasized the need to hold frequent talks between cultural forums and the government. Managing Director of HBS Construction Private Limited, Huidrom Vikram, and President of Nerokai FC, Thangjam Arun, who attended the event, drew the attention of the government to form a separate policy for artists to preserve the art and culture of Manipur. Wari Liba, Thangta, Cultural Dance, Kongjom Parva, Tribal Song, Dhol, Dholok Cholom, Dancing, drummer and Nokfa Day performances marked the first day of the festival. Speaking on the occasion, Chairman of Cultural Workers and Activist Forum, Buddha Chingtam, urged the relevant authorities to focus more on contemporary mass culture and also not to commercialize culture. He urged the relevant department to prop into the dying of age old culture and current condition of the surviving cultures. Buddha Ching Tham also stressed on the need to form a committee including experts in the field of art and culture to identify beneficiaries of artist Singhi Tengbang scheme launched by the state government. <laughs> Minister of Veterinary and Animal Husbandry Services, Manipur, Oinam Lukoi, handed over appointment letters to 10 newly recruited field assistants of the department at his office in Minister at his office in the old secretariat today. 
Dangshawa Motil from Chandil appreciated the minister for handing out the appointment letters, which has been long of due. Speaking on the occasion, Minister Inam Lukhoi said that their formal appointment letters have been pending due to court cases. The minister appeals to the department staff to cooperate to uplift the department. Commissioner of Veterinary and Animal Husbandry Services, H. Gyan Prakash, Director, Dr. H. Chauba, and Joint Director, Administration, Dr. N. G. Ibotombi, attended the program. Department chef, main power, what an alley, Tongan Tongan, but dispensary, my amma, but the city, big sin, carpet over Matam Matangi, quick Tolopa, then I like it, my amma's house and the Toloko Kolopomans. Main power later with the Gikoi Dumba, I'm a difficulty, problem, my amma quick face of the Bunati, a Dumbazing do Ikoi, with Taras, Noga Lagadi, the thirty six to six in the deployed over here with the main power to Hana, let him but the Gikoi. ทั้งหมดเชียงนะเพราะฉะนั้นประชาชนอินเทอร์เรสต์ดิปาร์ตเมนต์กับอินเทอร์เรสต์ไม่อยากจะทั้งหมดต้องวิวเอพอยท์เ
Mau porito pam dagi, kujugi base game bhogta kilometer thirteen sangwa lambi ima shemba horebo. Motorable oire black topping tawgri yam thunu tawgani. Aduga maduga security personnel singi. Like ham ziti dambur ne kupaga temporary ruin leri yam thuna permanent berak ama sharne. Juko veli jito thakai chen hairo di land gi dimaka chengi disposal like ham thokta banebo. Leri si kari roida nagaland gi tribesmen sing makoi gi backing da government. Hai bilang makoi state na sponsor tu wa land grabbing policy ma Manipur amadi asamui against tu maje lepel itu nacah teri. Anak Desember kuni panda koruk hewa maje Nagaland side tegi koruk hewa nebo. Nagaland side tegi koruk pokanda Nagaland kunjasi na maje security force na maje kalam maje. Sob nagi Nagaland side tegi one third sedang kalam nebo. Hai bilang maje kalam ada tu lower aja maje masana accept tu jadi hai bilang kudam nebo. Now we have today's Manipur's COVID-19 update. Manipur reported single-day spike of 44 new confirmed cases of COVID-19. No death case was reported in the last 24 hours. As per State Health Department and COVID-19 Command Control Room press release at 5 p.m. today, Manipur's total confirmed COVID-19 cases have reached 28,769, out of which 469 are active cases. Manipur's death toll from COVID-19 remains at 365. On the positive note, 56 people were discharged in the past 24 hours and recovered cases have reached 27,935. State's recovery rate stands at 97.10%. Newly infected persons are 41 from the general population and 3 are personnel of Central Armed Police Force. Infected persons from the general population are 13 from Churachanpur, 10 from Imphal West, 6 from Imphal East, 4 from Taubal, 2 each from Kakching and Senapati and 1 each from Kamjong, Tegnopal, Chandil and Noni District. All necessary medical precautionary measures like containment and contact tracing are in place. Now it's time for a small commercial break. After the break, we bring you updates on coronavirus cases in India and the world. Keep watching Impact News. G Men Samasung Need 2021 Gi Pattern Da Online Test Series Ki Damak Registration Housere Need IIT G Experience Singna Akad Imphal Valley Academy Gari Da Registration Tawi Ba Yare Dani Course Asi Da Individual Doubt Clearance Test Paper Analysis Samasung Practice Problems Ki Kudong Saba Su Phang Bi Gani 15 January Hawa Ki Manung Da Register Tawi Ba Yare Dani Solar Water Heater Available 100-150 LPG Please contact Farmson, Hirangoi Tong West, Ningtenza Karong, Imphal West. Contact number 9612391300, 9862669522. Solar Water Heat. Ichabu Mahitam Hanba Haibasi Mama Mapa Singh Namachada Piba Ngamba Khwai Digi Chabu Kudoni. Slopland Public School, biggest and the finest residential school. Manipur Gi Oina Lemjo Ningai Oiraba, Mahitam Pam Ama Oiraba. Kwai digi junara wa mamham da sembat laba CBS di affiliate toba higher secondary school oiri. Icha singbu admission to wida na mamam apa sing na macha da piba ngamba kwai digi chaobu kudol oi biyo. Icha gi pazabalam chat sazat ki ahong badu u biyo. Slopland Public School Kong Jom. Bangkli B Housing Finance Company Limited regulated by RBI specified as a financial institution by the Ministry of Finance, Government of India under Surface C Act 2002. First license holder public limited housing finance company in the entire northeastern region of India completed its 15 years of service. Provides home loan with a subsidy amount up to rupees 2.67 lakh under PMAY credit link subsidy scheme. PMAY CLSS housing for all by 2022 mission. Government of private employees businessmen can apply. For more details kindly contact Bantu B Housing Finance Company Limited or report on Mamlekai Infar. Welcome back after the break. You're watching Primetime English Bulletin. India recorded 15,968 new cases of coronavirus, taking the country's COVID-19 case load to 1 crore 4,95,147 in the last 24 hours. As per the Union Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, that toll has reached 1,51,529 with 202 new fatalities. On the positive note, India's active COVID-19 cases have come down to 2,14,507 in the last 24 hours, rising the recovered cases to 1 crore 1,29,111. 
country's recovery rate touches 96.51%. Kerala has the highest infection of above 64,000 active cases, followed by Maharashtra with above 53,000 active cases. Globally, coronavirus has infected above 9 crore 21 lakh 22,000 people. Above 1 crore 9 lakh 72,000 people have died and recoveries are above 6 crore 59,068, I beg your pardon, 59 lakh 68,000. USA has the highest infection of, of above 91 lakh 63,000 active cases in the world, followed by India and Brazil. While China, from where the pandemic started, stands at 82nd position with 784 active cases of COVID-19. Organizations of the state have submitted a memorandum to Lok Sabha outer MP Lorho S. Fose, CAF and PD Minister T. H. Satya Brata, IFCD Minister Let Pao Haukip and MLA T. H. Radisham demanding reapplication of former ADC Chandel Chairman Lukusezo's case to the higher courts. The team led by President of All Manipur Women's Social Reformation and Development Samaj, Nupi Samaj T. H. Ramani went to the residences of the officials to submit the memorandum. Members of Thaubal Ima Amkil Tammi Chingmi Thanil Khwaramban Nupi Kaitel Semgat Sagat Pallup, Nongpok Lengak Apunban Nupi Lup, Bishnupur Nimpal and Ichal took part in the visit. Protest demonstrations were also held at Wangkai Ning Tempukri Mapal in Imphal East District against the acquittal of former ADC Chandel Chairman Lukose Zou in the controversial 2018 multi crore drug case. Members of Nupi Kunai Chaukat Kanglup Ning Tempukri Mapal and Kada jointly staged sit in, chanting various slogans today. District Administration in Fall West, Soci District Social Welfare Office in Fall West and Youth Initiatives Forum Manipur have organized awareness and sensitization program on drug abuse under Nasha Mukta Bharat Abhyan at Washalakpa Ibu Ningtao Lamjing Loop in Mongshangai Kongjing Lekai. A master volunteer of Nimba in Fall West, El Sanatombi stressed on the roles of youths in building a drug-free society and will secretary O Sochot spoke on the roles of organizations and local clubs in curbing drug menace at the event. A district level officers DLO meeting for Churchandpur district was held today. DC Churchandpur Pavan Yadav IAS chaired the meet at Singat Martis Hall. Speaking at the meeting, local MLA Kam Manireda chairman GS Haupu claimed that the BJP led state government under the initiative of Chief Minister N. Biren, has made serious efforts to curb illegal poppy cultivation in the Hills District. He urged the public to extend support and cooperation towards the initiatives taken by the government and the police to curb the same. He added that the present government is always ready to provide alternate crops for cultivation to poppy cultivators. MLA JS Haupu also distributed cardamom seedlings to 26 selected beneficiaries under Nasha Mukta Bharat campaign on the occasion. Churchanpur District Forest Officer and members of various civil society organizations and village chiefs took part in the meeting. It may be mentioned that Prime Minister Narendra Modi launched the Nasha Mukta Bharat campaign on August 15 last year. One Lokrakpa Memtoy from Takiel Kolomdaikai has refuted a depressed women foundation's allegation about illegal sale of, the proper, of her property and to lock her house. She said eviction was carried out as per an agreement with the landowner. Speaking to media at Sagolban Moirang Hanubalera today, Memtoy said her late husband sold the land to one K.H. Rana Mayi from Sagolban Inungdam Lekai 20 years ago. She added that their family has been residing in the property due to poverty and the eviction drive by Imphal West DC was carried out as per an agreement with Rana Mayi's family. I
Secretary of Youth Progressive Club, Takiel Kolomlekai, El Kanta appeals to the relevant organization not to interfere any further as the eviction drive was carried out as per an agreement between Memtoy and the real landowner. He added that Rana Mayi's family wrote to the club while she was serving as club secretary to allow the family to reside in the land. She said Rana Mayi's family has been urging the family to vacate the land for the past three years. However, Memtoy and her five children have been taking shelter at the property due to poverty. He appeals to those concerned not to spread any hoax news on media. It may be mentioned that the eviction drive was carried out as per an order dated January 11 issued by Imphal West DC. The Press Widow Foundation had condemned the eviction as forceful. ไฮรบวิดโอเอโซเซชั่นจินาฮอจิกอคุยกีไฮรบเมมทูเนลเลอร์เบฮิงโกลซีอคุยเกตลอนจันดานะคุซันดานะตอบบัสซีอคุยถ
Members of Ethno Heritage Council Herikun condoled the untimely demise of former Herikun executive member Salam Basanta from Kaibul Sagram Awanglekai. They also shared the griefs of his bereaved family. Lions Club of Imphal Greater donated food items to Nablini Ashram Children Home in Ghari Awanglekai today. President of Lions Club Imphal Greater, Greater Imphal and Bijoy said that the donation was part of the worldwide relieving the hunger campaign by Lions Clubs in honor of the founder of Lions Clubs International, Melvin Zones. Athletes who are on their way to Delhi carrying the message of crime against women reached Mathura today. The athletes narrated their experiences in their journey. They will stage protest demonstrations condemning crime against women at India Gate once they reach Delhi tomorrow. The three women are Bindia from Sagolban Moirang Hanubalera, Chakpram Nacho Chanu from Haikak Mapal Kaibi, and Roshni from Kakching. Lakhnau, we are going to go to Ahim Tumda with the Thogja Kre, Aduga Nongan, Bagimu, Lakhnau to Agra, Gilambi, the Lakumatam, the UP, the Adusun, Numidang, Tasala, the police name, Shena Biraga, Kuibu, Moina, welcome to Biraga, Shena Biraga, Nushibiduna, Hotel Gibeshal, Hold of Yahweh, Financial Gizokoi, Sponsor Kale, the Mara Moraga, a Shizu problem, the Adun to E, Ayuk the Zara Hilaga, Lakosu Yao Kre, according to Hayam Kedida, in the Agate Yoroga demonstration, Kurt Uzani. Nambol Emle and Lokian has stressed on the need to instill the habit of games and sports among children and youths. He was speaking at the 5th Foundation Day celebrations of United Youth Club UYC in Waheng Kuman Mayai Lekai in Waheng Kuman of Nambol Constituency today. MLA Lokian said the regular sports activities help improve personality, behavior and overall emotional well-being of the children. Under 14 girls football teams UYC and Classic FC played a friendly football match at UYC ground on the occasion. Amfa President M. Ratan Kumar Lema Pokpam Zilla Parishad member L. Jitin and many people took part in the event. Four members of Manipur Cricket Association MCA have left Imphal for Chennai to extend support and encouragement to the Manipur team participating in the ongoing Syed Mustaq Ali T20 Trophy played group match. They are MCA Vice President L. Binoy, Joint Secretary K. Bobin, Selectors I. Ibobi and R. K. Ramananda. The Manipuri team played its second league match against Chandigarh today. Manipur will look to continue to be build from strength despite starting as underdogs in the clash against Chandigarh. The T20 league is being organized by Tamil Nadu Cricket Association. The MCA members will also take part in a meeting convened by Tamil Nadu Cricket Association to carve out strategies to promote cricket sports in the state. Manipur Olympic Association condoles the untimely demise of former president of All Manipur Football Association and former member of Manipur Olympic Association S. Sanatomba. Condolence meet was held at Olympic Bhavan where attendees observed a two-minute silence as a mark of respect to the departed soul. Members of All Manipur Football Association AMFA has extended monetary help to national referee Ilangbam Debla from Hairok Part 2 Mayalekai. It may be mentioned that Ilangbam Debla underwent a surgery at Shiza Hospital last year after meeting with an accident. AMFA members extended financial help of 10,000 rupees to Debla today and also wished her a speedy recovery. AMFA President M. Ratan Kumar, General Secretary L. Jotri Moy Roy, Assistant General Secretary N. Nilo and eminent members of DFA Thaubal and AMFA were present on the occasion. India and England will play four test matches, five T20 matches and three one-day international matches as a part of ICC 
World Test Championship. The Board of Control for Cricket in India, BCCI, announced the same. The matches will be held under International Cricket Council. The first and second test matches will be played at Chennai's M.A. Chidambaram Stadium from February 5 till 7 and from February 13 till 17 respectively. While the third and fourth test matches will be played at Ahmedabad's Sadar Patel Cricket Stadium from February 24 till 28 and from March 4 till 8. The five T20 matches will be played at Ahmedabad's Sadar Patel Cricket Stadium on March 12, 14, 16, 18 and 20 respectively. While the three one-day international matches will be played at Maharashtra's Cricket Stadium Pune on March 23, 26 and 28 respectively. Now before we end, let's take a look at the headlines once again. First consignment of 54,000 vials of Covishield vaccines arrive in Imphal three days ahead of nationwide vaccination drive against coronavirus on January 16. Desam locks up offices of BOSEM secretary and controllers of examination against government's failure to fill up the vacant post. Court sends man who thrashes wife to death in drunken state to 10 years of rigorous imprisonment with a fine of 20,000 rupees. Manipur reports 44 new confirmed cases of COVID-19, 56 recoveries and no death case in last 24 hours. Death toll remains 365. And India records 15,968 new COVID-19 cases, taking country's COVID tally above 1 crore, 4,95,000. Recovery rate stands above 96%. That's all we have in this bulletin. Thank you for being with us. Coming up next is Primetime Manipuri Bulletin. For more news, you can also follow Impact TV on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and YouTube. Have a great evening and stay safe.